Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in. Today is going to be probably a quick video because I just wanted to add a couple of things to this amazing Crocodile Mercedes W140. And those things are, you know, the spare tire and also the factory toolkit. This car has been missing a spare tire and factory toolkit ever since I got this car. So finally, today I got the spare tire uh, and factory toolkit. So super happy about that and uh, I'm gonna disassemble I have some stuff in the trunk so I'm gonna take that out and I'm gonna install everything and I'm also gonna fluid film the area where the spare tire is as well. here's the spare tire and wheel that I got it's out of a newer W140 but the same size 235 60 16 even though the car says it has to be 225 60 16 it's okay everything is good the tires on this car are still actually um 235 60 16 um yeah but i got this uh, it's crazy i got this wheel from california from los angeles about a month ago when i was nearby so i really needed it and uh, because this car has been missing it the tire is actually pretty old it's from 2000 but it's still got tread and everything and um yeah i cleaned it up uh you know pretty well i mean i could uh, add a little more elbow grease to make it even better but yeah i'm super happy i have a spare tire now it's all filled up now and everything that's great now there's something else cooler that this car's been missing that's gonna have right now is the factory toolkit it's literally a w140 factory toolkit okay has w140 numbers and everything and this is literally go gonna go on top of the spare tire so that's really amazing i mean uh there's something else right here that's missing probably but that's okay most of the tools are here makes me super happy guys fluid from the area here i'm just missing the holder for the battery i'll have to get that and then i have to put a cover right there for the battery positive because i'm just so ocd cover is back on this was fluid film two years ago still nice and oily here keeps everything protected that's really really good okay guys i just added a lot more fluid film to this area looking good i'm about to put this kind of like gasket on it goes like that and then this part and then it's funny, I realized that I'm actually missing a jack for this car. And that um, threaded portion that goes on the spare tires. So I'll have to get those. But yeah, it's mostly complete now. I'm just going to need to install this. It goes like so, I believe. Yeah. I'll make it like that. Okay, so we got a spare tire right there. I just have to add that cup that goes over the spare tire. And then I have the toolkit. Really nice. Like so. Okay, guys, so I was able to get two of these spare wheel screw ons, the wheels right here. I already cleaned them up. One is actually from a 126, has a 126 part number somewhere. Huh. But the other one is 124 part number, so I don't know which one is gonna fit. Now, obviously, this is a 140, so it's gonna need a 140 wheel. But right now, if I can just make it all factory looking and beautiful, that's all I care about. Yeah, so. I grabbed two of them. There, there's a difference between both of them a little bit. So I think the 126 one is going to fit the best here. Let's see. So I think the 124 part number is going to fit the best. 124 is actually bigger. So I'm going to try to install that. Right there. It's going to hold our wheel. Amazing. I got this uh, factory jack. This one's actually from a W124 as well. You know, in the future, if I find a 141, I'll install it in here. But this one fits just fine in a 140. And I put lube in there on those threads. So it's going to be all preserved fluid film there. So 
it's all good to go now okay so i have installed the jack in there spare tire everything and then now this is the factory toolkit for the 140 okay so we're gonna install this one i think where it goes to i kind of have an idea it's probably that slot right there i think that's where that goes yup it has to be that's amazing Let's slide this thing in there wow look at that this is all amazing now all complete that makes me so happy final thing i have the battery hold down for it so i'm about to install that as well everything's fluid filmed amazing beautiful amazing machine okay last couple of things is the battery hold down it may not be from for the 140 but it will work just fine this is i think i got it from a w202 chassis i got a bolt and a washer somewhere we're gonna install that also fluid film preserved the area everything under the battery too and got this uh i wish it was red because i'm so ocd but as long as i have some kind of protection on the battery positive instead of that cardboard right there we're gonna be awesome and good to go like that i'll try to make it work okay so let's get to it Hey guys, this is the next day. Got a brand new um, brake light switch. Genuine Mercedes, I'm about to open up and show you that. And mainly I just wanted to replace it just for preventive maintenance. Uh, the one is okay right there installed, but I'm gonna install a new one, why not? So the new one, it's got, it's pretty easy. It's got a couple of connectors right there, which we will take off. It's just a squeeze and pull. There's one, there's the top, and there's the bottom right there. Slowly like wiggle it. Let's see. Let's see. There we go. Now this, we should be able to just grab it and twist it let's just first uh, compare this it's right. that's correct there it is original mercedes-benz brand new part so this one we just gotta i think squeeze that tab and then squeeze and twist clockwise so it's gonna go in like this and you're gonna press down and then twist it this way so like that and there's a slot for it actually before installation add a little bit of lube on the tip like that so to install this brake light switch properly you need both hands you need to be pushing on this and squeezing that and twisting at the same time so that's how you do it all good we're about to check it and uh, after connecting this these two connectors one and two preventive maintenance how about that 